greetings from the Northern Pipe Shed. Um, I'm smoking some GQ um, Northern Lace. Pouch note on this. I do have three months of this jar. Um, Pouch note's fantastic. It's really sort of fruity, quite a bright sort of fruity as well, not a stewed sort of smell. It's really nice. It's quite a sort of a it's not a fine cut, well it is moderately fine cut, it's a ribbon, it's quite they're quite long the strand as well. I know as well because I've just <coughs> I wasn't thinking and I've um I swirled it when I packed I use the swirl method. And of course it's just um <laughs> it just all clumped up into a big ball. I pushed it down and just lit it anyhow, the draw was fine and it, it seems to be alright. Uh, I'm halfway down, I thought with this review. Because I've smoked it quite a few times and just didn't like it. It's great, but it's just not my sort of thing. And it should be. It's Virginia with a bit of Perique in there as well. Um, I think it's a bit of Kentucky as well, though I can't really taste it much. Um, so, quick review. It, it charred really well. Um, it's, it lit well. I didn't get much Perique for the first half of the... Well, the first quarter of the bowl. Um, hang on. So what I've discovered, halfway down the brig's coming through a lot more, a, l a lot more. Um, it's got a really lovely fruity sort of taste to it. It's not a synthetic fruity taste at all. It's a it's a um, well, I know what it is because I know there's red Virginia in there, and you really can taste it. Well, I can. I can really taste it. And it goes to that sort of tangy, then sweet sort of tangy sweet thing. Um, the pre pre does give it a kind of peppery sort of um, taste as well. Once it gets going and halfway down for me, um, the Virginias. Nice, um, very nice. It's it's quite a nice bite. For some reason, it just doesn't it, it doesn't sort of ring my bell. I, I don't know why, because it should do. Um, there's just something that doesn't. I don't know if it's the Kentucky that's in there that doesn't sort of blend in well for me or not. I, I, I really don't know. But what I have found is that it's a sipper. I think it's got a tendency to, I think it could burn a little bit hot as well, but I think if you want the really, if you want a nice taste out of it, it's definitely a sipping baggie. Um, get that really nice red Virginia through when you sip it. If you've got it like a steam train, you get the Perique more, and it becomes quite peppery actually. Um, if you exhale it through your nose, it, it's it's very spicy um, strength wise nicotine wise it's, it's getting stronger for me as it's getting sort of nearer to the to the last third of the bowl mm. it's nice it's good it's just it's doesn't really do it for me that much I could smoke it I could quite happily smoke it but I don't think I'd buy it again. Um, there's a lot of other tobaccos that I, I, I sort of prefer, basically. Um, some very good GQ tobaccos. This is a very good tobacco. It just doesn't suit my sort of taste that much, um, being honest. I don't know what it is. I much prefer it smoking than this Falcon. Um, yeah. So I think that sums it up really. GQ Nottingham Lace, really good tobacco, not particularly for me. Lovely fruity taste to it, mind. Um, you can taste those Red Virginias, they've got that sort of tangy but sweet sort of taste and it goes in and out of tangy sweetness, occasionally sort of sour and back to the tangy sweetness again. You can smell them in the in the pouch as well, in the jar. Um, and the prick <clears throat> definitely gets stronger as you, as you get further down the bowl. So, that about sums it up. I'm all on edge because 
It's funny how I've managed to do the video there in five minutes. I can't normally. It's because I'm all on edge. I've got an accumulated bet on the footy today and the football. And they've all come in. I've got one game left, which is Leicester City versus Man United. And if Leicester win, I'll get about 500 quid. That's not bad for a pound bet. Um, <laughs> if there were 1 0 with 24 minutes gone, and then they've equalised half before half time, Man United. So I've had a come away, I can't watch the rest of it. Um, 500 quid it buys a new pipe shed, wouldn't it? On the other side of the house, this is a new one, but on the other side of the house with heating. Oh, oh, oh. Get myself all excited now. It's not going to happen, is it? Never mind. But a nice party. Not for me, but very nice. So from the Northern Pipe Shed, enjoy your buggy. Might even switch it off, eh?